In today's video, I am going to be breaking down some very beginner style 5-on-5 five -five flag football plays. Let's get down, let's check these out. I hope that these plays help your team win more games. Okay, so in this first play, what we're going to start with is essentially a three-player front. We're going to have our quarterback as well as a receiver on the right side. Of course, this receiver could be on either side, left or right, and it's just going to be mirrored on either side. So essentially how I like to say this to my players is we can run this play on either side and how I would like to empower my players is for this player or the quarterback to be able to decide which side they want to run it on. So essentially how we're going to be running this is to have player three and four both running out routes towards the sidelines. Next. If this is a blocking league, we'll have player 5 blocking. If it's not a blocking league, we'll have him run straight down field. And depending on what the deeper defenders do, or if it's a man-to-man, -man, then what his defender is doing, if he's guarding him on this side, then he'll cut out towards the right side. If he's guarding him on this side, then he'll cut out towards the left side. At this point in time, we'll have actually player two curl in and then run up the middle. And what we are hoping for here is a quick handoff or a quick pass right here to player two, either behind the line of scrimmage or if you're not allowed to pass behind the line of scrimmage, then it would be just past the line of scrimmage there. And what we are hoping for now is for there to be essentially a lane right here for him to run to hopefully get a touchdown, obviously. Obviously, if player 5 was to cut this way, we would want player 2 to curl back and, of course, cut up this way so that hopefully, again, that there's a lane there. And this play would be the exact same whether he's on this side. It would just be the exact same player 3 and 4. They cut out towards the sideline. Player 5 goes either way depending on his defender and player 2 goes up the middle. Next is what I like to call an L formation. What we're going to have is, of course, player one. We would like to see him start to run out towards the right side. And now what we want to see is players five and three blocking if it's a blocking league. If not, we want to get them out of the way, essentially. We want to see them quickly run out towards the left side for player five and player three to run straight downfield. Next, what we want to see is player 2 to have a comeback route towards the right side and player 4 to do the exact same. With player 1 running out towards this side, what we essentially are looking to do now is to either pass the players 2 or 4 and for them to turn and run downfield or if there's an opportunity to pass the player 3, hit them up downfield or if neither of these the three players are open, we would like to see player five cut back because now the middle of the field should be open for player one to pass him the ball. We're gonna go with the same formation one more time. However, it's going to be a bit simpler. And what we're going to be doing is just having player one, our quarterback, to take a few steps back. And we really wanna have this to be a level play, which means that he can pass to either side of the field if need be. And what we're going to have is, of course, player five cutting out the line of scrimmage. And then we're going to have player four. He's going to be curling towards the left side, 10, 15 yards. It depends on how far your quarterback can really throw. And then we're going to have player three do the exact same. However, we want to keep him above player five. And then we want to see player two run straight and then cut out towards the right. So that now we are looking for, of course, players three or four in the middle, player five right along the line of scrimmage, or what I find success with, or at least what I've seen success with, is player two. If he was to run to the, side, to the sideline, if we can hit him up halfway through that run, he can have that whole sideline to run up and, of course, get a potential touchdown, which would be absolutely fantastic. Next is going to be if you are for sure playing in a blocking league or at least a, a league that allows the defenders to get past the line of scrimmage before the pass or at least a few seconds after the after the start of the play however if, if these players cannot block or you're not playing in a league that's blocking you can still use this play however that's their main purpose we would then have player two basically curl up and then in front of this front or this line which would then be just a quick pass 
and then for him to continue up that left side. However, if this is not a blocking league, we can have players three and four run towards the sideline, player five running straight down the field, and player two still curling, looking to catch that, get that pass, player two being our number one option, our backups being three, four, or of course five. I find that it's really hard for beginners to catch the ball from behind them, so how I would actually instruct this one is by having player 5, after running 10-15 yards downfield, to cut out depending on where his defender is playing him, if he's obviously being played on this side, cut out towards the right, and then if he's being played on this side, cut out towards the left. This last play I'm going to show you is for the beginner team that cannot throw all that far. And what we're looking to do is, of course, have player 3, 5, and 4 cutting 5 yards downfield and then cutting out towards the right side. Player 2 is then going to loop back around. If you're allowed to do a handoff in your league, do the handoff. You should have the left side of the field. However, if you're not allowed to do the handoff, still have player 2 run behind player 1. However, wait until he gets past the line of scrimmage and then pass him the ball. I hope that these plays help your team win more games. If they do, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.